let's check out how flexible and easy it is to work with macros with Rona Control 2.0. In Ableton Live, using an instrument rack, audio effects rack, or mini effects rack, Rona Control will map the macros automatically to Rona Control's knobs. These are indicated by a light blue display. This way you know it is automatically mapped. To disable the automatic mapping of macros, we simply learn and map parameters to Roto Control as we would with any other plugin. Press Learn, touch the knob, map the parameter, and so forth. These will be indicated by a dark blue display. Here, we can open up the Roto Setup app and further customize the label, colors, and the haptics. Now, each time we open that macro, we'll have our customized macro mapping. If you'd like to go back to automatic mapping of that particular rack, all we need to do is just clear the mapped assignments to rotor control and it will revert back to the automatic mapping. To do this, hold down learn, touch the knob, clear to confirm, and you'll see that Roto goes back to the automatic mapping of the macros. This is also applicable for any rack that you create yourself. It's important when creating your own racks to give them a unique name. This way, Roto looks for the name and remembers the mappings, be they automatic mapping or customized mappings. And that's how easy it is. Thanks for watching.